everybody we're in the parking lot because i have to get tater tots because today's recipe comes from hubby and i'm gonna let you he's gonna tell you what it's called you gotta put it on me yeah what's it what's it called it is called cracked chicken tater tot casserole now we're gonna say that three times are you ready one two three crack chicken tater tot casserole crack chicken tater tot casserole crack chicken tater tot casserole <laughs> Try saying that three times. So let's get started in today's video. Woohoo! It's crack chicken tater tot casserole. Crack chicken tater tot casserole. Crack chicken tater tot casserole. Crack, crack chicken tater tot casserole. <laughs> <laughs> to make some <laughs> hi everybody and welcome to my channel today you will find me in the kitchen because I'm going to make some crack chicken tater tot casserole in the cast iron skillet <laughs> say that four times and see how well you do so it is crack chicken casserole tater tot casserole in the If you knew how many outtakes I took of this video. All right, everybody, we're gonna make some chicken. So follow along with me and let's get started in the video. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put all of our chicken in here. This is absolutely so simple. This is absolutely so simple. We're going to go ahead and put one can of cream of chicken soup in it. Now, you don't have to use this, but it does give a little more moisture, and that way it's not so dry. And that's all we're going to add to it, a little bit of cheese. Now, there is cream cheese in the base of the chuck. There is cream cheese in the base of the cracked chicken. Now all of these items are cooked, so we really won't need to put it in the cast iron skillet very long. So here is our cast iron skillet. You can bake this in the oven, you can put this in the crock pot, but today we're going to use the cast iron skillet. So we're going to layer the bottom. And Hubby came up with the idea to add peas. So we're going to add some frozen peas to it. And then we're going to top it off with some tater tots. Since our items are already cooked except for the peas and tater tots, to know when it's finished is when the tater tots are golden brown. How pretty is that? All right, we're going to put it in the oven. I'm going to bake it at 325 for about 30 minutes. And it's finished. Yum, yum. I think by far this is the best casserole, cracked chicken one I've ever made. Take a look at that. Yum, yum. I can't wait till Chevy Man gets home. I'll share with you what I harvested yesterday. These are Asian beans. Uh, they are amazing. They're yard beans. They look like little snakes. And I can't wait to make some videos using them. I'm also really excited about I'm also really excited about these peppers. These black peppers. They are beautiful dehydrated. I'm actually going to be planting more of the chocolate peppers. They're not a hot pepper. They're sweet pepper. So we have some baby potatoes which I'm going to share with you in a video. I harvested lots of tomatoes and lots of peppers. All right, so let's get out in that garden. Well, we spend a whole weekend cleaning. We planted grass seed and the tree is finally taken down.
It's bright early morning and I'm going to be washing my windows this morning. I just want to give you a garden tour. My grapes. Look at my grapes. Great harvest this year is going to be. dry conditions in the garden. I'm really not able to water it very much. I can do some of it by hand. We are just flourishing in beautiful flowers. And these are the flowers my grandchildren picked for me. So while maybe my garden isn't doing that great this year, the flowers are in abundance. Take care everyone. And I can't wait till Chevy Man gets home. We're gonna let it cool just a little bit. Take care everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow and Give it a try. Cast iron skillet is a way to cook a meal to perfection. Bye, everybody.